Okay, guys. Good morning. It's Jackie from Sacred Journeys. How are you? Let's see what today brings. Today is the 10th of October. That's a cool day, right? Okay, so let's see what the cards want to say. The first card is a six of water. Looking at things in the past. The second card is transformation. Things are shifting, changing. The third card is patience. So these, these feel like a really good energy, and I feel like this one wants to come out too. Six of Earth. Okay, cool. So, to me, it seems like it's time to reflect on the past. Just take some time, because here the patience card is here too. So it just feels like take some time today. Reflect on the past. Reflect on where you've been, where you want to go. Let's see. Kind of like dial it in and see what, what your life has been like. What's going on. And make sure that you're not stuck in the past somewhere. Make sure that you're not longing for something that's not still, that's not there anymore. Because the transformation card wants transformation. It's time. It's time to transform and it's always happening, always. It's always happening, as long as we allow it. I mean, but I think self-reflection and looking at your life and just looking around is required in transformation. And also looking at what you're still holding on to. It's lovely to have memories. It's lovely to think back fondly about things, about people. But sometimes it's, it's, there's, a, there's a possibility or a poss yeah, like if we get stuck in the past, it could hold us up. So, and that could prevent a transformation. So, but this is not in the reverse. So it just feels like it's a, it's a day for you to look, look at your life, look at the things that you used to love, that you still love, the people, the places, the things, the passions that you have. Reflect. But, and reflection is part of transformation. Because you can't know where you're going, I guess, unless you know where you've been. And everything in our lives points us in the direction of our purpose, our path. So take some time. but And don't rush. I feel like this was the energy yesterday. Don't rush. Pray about what's going on. And then have patience. Because... We believe that there is a divine timing. Yes, we do need to do the things that facilitate change, facilitate growth. Uh, and we need to do our own work, whether that's forgiveness or self-processing or even the practical things of stepping forward, putting out uh, the, the work, you know, whether it's a resume or going to see the new apartment or uh, going, doing whatever you need to do to make those things happen. So we do our part and then we relax. But it seems like there's a, the six of earth is part of the equation too. So as we reflect, as we allow transformation and even um, initiate transformation by choosing different things, when we're choosing things, make sure that they're in balance. Make sure the situations that you find yourself in are balanced situations where you're not giving more than you're receiving, okay? Um, and this is more so, I think, in relationships, but even in work. Are you putting in more effort in your business than you're receiving? Uh, like, like, say, in self-employment. Are you putting in a lot more effort for your clients than you're receiving back? If you're doing most of the, the work, but they're not putting in any energy, or if you're not getting compensated by financial gain, then you need to maybe check that. How much work are you doing and how much are you receiving in return? And this is also for relationships. If you're in partnerships or relationships, friendships, where you are doing most of the efforting, trying to make things work, contacting, communicating, pull back some, pull back and see and allow other people to give back to you. Um, 
so that so just as you move forward in your transformation make sure that the things that you're doing and the things that you are part of have some reciprocity okay reciprocity is a great word it's balance make sure that you don't over give to the point where you're exhausted and then other people just always assume that you're going to give and they don't have to do anything. <laughs> and that's really not a good place to be in relationships, okay? So, but that, I think that's not only relationships, but in all areas of your life. Make sure that everything is balanced. There's a give and take. There's an asking and receiving, okay? Yeah, and that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> so, anyway, it feels like today is a day of reflection and really being honest with what you're focusing on. And if it's something in the past that is, needs to, uh, you need to shift your attention, then do so. It doesn't mean you don't love those people. It doesn't mean you don't still enjoy what you used to do or whatever, but don't let it captivate you to the point where you can't see the future. You can't see what's right in front of you and you can't choose right. You can't choose your path. So transformation is in, in the works today. I'm excited about that. That sounds awesome. Just be patient. Have patience and be watchful to make sure things are, you know, equally balanced. There's a give and a take. There's a reciprocity, you know, because that's important in, in all things. It's important. All right, my friends. Oh, there's my, my horse. All right. I'll see you later. Bye.